So as cars start lining up, there's one thing that people may have noticed in the right before the last race. I went to put on my helmet, and I, you know, I pull the straps down, right? Yeah. Well, one of the straps was in my hand. Really? Yeah. Was it the most important strap? Oh, which one's that? The strap that buckles into your helmet? Yes. So you don't have a way to tighten down your helmet? <laughs> I, I What I did was I put it up because the pressure of my head holds it in place. <laughs> so, and then I tightened it that way. Okay. Like I said, it's gonna, I mean, I don't recommend it and I'm gonna look into it and see if I well, can. Well, we're gonna it. buy him a new helmet is what's gonna happen. What? No. You don't like that? No, I just give me a bicycle you, helmet. You want a demolition derby and get hit and your helmet flies forward? Yeah. We've seen that before. Yeah, we have. All right, well, we are going to uh, soon stage our skid plate machines. They're sitting pretty. What's sitting funny pretty. is if we had the, we can go get the forklift right now and put away two of our cars <laughs> before they get stolen. Before the, we can go fast. <laughs> yeah. Well, what are your expectations for the skid plate race? I don't know. I honestly don't. My car runs okay. I'm gonna take it easy because we've got a lot of work ahead of us and I don't want any of my car to be part of the work. Of course, anything can happen. Um, I'm gonna play it safe out there. I'm gonna try to finish up into the top 10. This what is, about you? This is very much like last year's uh, skip plate race before Night of Destruction, the, the Night of Destruction. We only had one last year. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, race, Pass who you can pass, but if it's going to destroy your car or cause a lot of work, maybe back out of it. Think better of it. Yeah, we have we have two other cars that we can demolish over here. But uh, I, <laughs> I like how we almost have matching bumpers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're getting ready to strap into our race cars, Tommy. It is now time for skip plate race number whatever.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the skid plate right. Why are you looking tired? What? What's going on? You finished 20th. That's something. Oh, to be I awake. did finish That's something 20th. Something to be awake about. That's right. I feel so. I think 30 cars. No, that means that I beat six other cars. At least. At least, I think. I feel like I've won the race. I feel like I've won out there. Mm -hmm. uh, my car handled like a uh, Toyota Camry should uh, in the skid plate yeah. race. Um, I had no issues. I I don't think I really even bumped into anybody. Nobody really bumped into me. A slight contact, nothing you know to harm anything. The goal has been set and it's been done. Yep. Where we have driven those cars on and off the track, and we know that if all goes right. We could theoretically not worry about those cars until the moment we have to go race them. Yeah, um, my race uh, it was <clears throat> probably one of the hardest fought races I've ever had. And I was racing up, at, at one point in that race I realized I'm catching up to guys who started in the top five. And this was a straight up start, it wasn't our full invert, so I'm like, what's going on right here? A good start, and then I spun out. But I was having an intense battle for the 10th position with the 81 car, I was trying so hard to beat them just in this turn or in that turn or break in here or on throttle there and he and I went at it for a while to the point where I was like it's fun to race this guy wasn't uh, any real contact there or whatnot but we did have a couple really tight moments some slower cars in front some beating and banging but like you said Tommy Typical. it was a, yeah. the usual yeah it was a good race though that everybody if you haven't noticed by now everybody is so good at driving these cars now it almost is a race out there yeah we've raced race cars and that's what it feels like you got the competition level is so high um, and everybody's under control uh, where you have to dodge the lappers uh, race around everybody for position out mm -hmm. there. it's not anymore it's it's not about keeping the car straight and gaining spots when you can it's literally about going out there and racing each other yeah and at one point the uh, the leaders passed me uh, just before the last lap hi Jason hi Jeffrey hey uh, they passed me around the last lap, and it goes to show how good of a race for the lead these guys continue to have. At least, like, at least there's that. Yeah, they're dominating this, but we've been having good races for the lead this year in skid plate races, which is kind of unusual for the division oh, up till this year. Year long, it's, it's been common, like Jeffrey said, it's been kind of dominated by one team, which props to them, they've got it figured out. Um, and we all have our homework to do, even though you all see Jeff and my homework. Yeah, we uh, we skipped homework. We just go right to the test. Well, that is a roundup of October fourth, two thousand fourteen skid plate race. Was another success, another top ten. I got ninth. You know, one thing that I think would be interesting to mention is uh, the video I have on my channel, My Little Vegas. This was the honorary cameraman for that event. So when you hear that about the guy right here and the red shirt right here from the East Baltimore. Yeah, two black for two pack. Right. Heck yeah. And now it's a guy. I want a pony. Because she a said your pony. the word. <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a roundup here at Irwindale Speedway. The Low Budgets, another skip play race done.